Hazardous Workplaces edition, I took the train to visit my old friend Art, and, as always, I find him playing the guitar. This, this is the place where uh, everything happens, so to say, and uh, yeah, it's a nice hobby place where I combine uh, electronics with the music for uh, designing all kinds of gadgets for my uh, electric guitar, amps, effect pedals. You make your own guitars? Uh, also, yeah, I have here a Species, which I uh, started, I think, uh, 10 years ago. And this is the final shape it's, it's got after a lot of redesigns. A uh, copy of an existing model, but um, yeah, I really... Uh, can, can, you, can you put it on? Can you play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. just uh, let us, let's hear what it is. Because how long, how many hours did you spend uh, oh, working? I uh, cannot count these hours, it's really a lot. Yeah. Hundreds of hours uh, spent on it. Okay, well, let's hear it. <laughs> I also make a specific combination of uh, pickup switching where I can use an in-phase, out-phase parallel in series kill switch, which I will show uh, the function of. It's uh, not in a standard tuning for okay. uh, at least the musicians who will look at this video. But, okay. Can you remember your first uh, project in electronics? What, what, um, what was that? Yeah, I can tell something how it all started off. Um, it, I have pictures in my um, parents' uh, photo album where I'm playing with all old electrical sockets with uh, wire where I connect everything on a, some okay. board okay. at the age of four. At age, age of four? Age of four so already, yeah, then it's, it's in the genes, so to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then I found that some, I think, auction or fair where I found a book about amplifiers and there it all started with. You still have that book? Yeah, or? I, yeah. I still yeah, okay. Book. Can yeah, you show it? It's one yeah. of my uh, memorabilia, but uh, in fact, uh, this, is, uh, this is the book it all started with. Okay. And I had a basic it's understanding of electronics at the time. It's, so it's, a, it's a Dutch it's a Dutch book. Yeah, it uh, says uh, uh, amplifier from one to nine watt. Okay. Uh, it says a heavy stereo amplifier. And so it was. And it was. <laughs> and it was. Well, it was at the time it was heavy because it was two times seventy watt. Okay. Which was in the beginning of the eighties. Huge power. <laughs> time. Can you tell a bit what your sort of equipment you're using and what yeah. you're having? Uh, yeah, I all uh, this is uh, for my old uh, employer where I can uh, have bought this this laboratory power supply. It's an old uh, dual uh, Tektronix. Uh, it goes up to two times, I think, thirty five volts with uh, two amps per channel each, which I most uh, use most of the time uh, for symmetrical power supply. Then a few years ago, I bought this uh, Owen uh, oscilloscope. Yeah, uh, very two popular. Yeah. Two channel, it uh, suits me pretty well. And also with a very basic function generator, not top of the bill, but since I'm doing most of the time uh, audio work, not really high frequency, it does a job, so to mm. say. And uh, of course, there's a multimeter here. In your, in your daytime job, you're very much involved with power electronics. Yeah, my job is uh, work as a power electronics designer at uh, Victron Energy in Eindhoven, where I do uh, a design of the electronics itself, the power electronics. Most of the time is more leaning towards product development and industrialization of uh, the electronics part. But it's uh, they are um, uh, power supplies for. Uh, generating uh, mains power from batteries 24 volt to 230 volt ac 120 volt ac uh, bidirectional can uh, work as an inverter stand alone or uh, charge the batteries in combination with uh, solar panels are you using arduino uh, yes i use an arduino and i use it in my tube amplifier where i do the preheat timing and channel switching uh, i can show you this is the amp uh, where it's built in, and uh, when I switch it on, you can see the starting cycle running, and after 30 seconds, this LED will turn to green, 
meaning that the preheat time is over and you can put on the high voltage on the tubes by switching the uh, standby uh, to, to on. So the whole boot up sequence of, uh, of this amplifier is controlled with, a, with an Arduino, an yeah. Arduino Uno? Arduino Uno uh, Mini. It's Mini, Mini, okay. It also has a function where it's monitoring the mains voltage. You see now it's turning orange, that means it's, it's ready to switch on. And now you can hear it humming and uh, it's now operating and it also monitors the uh, mains voltage because mains voltage can be quite critical for tube amps with respect to uh, tube heating. So it's an, uh, uh, set at 230 volts nominal and when uh, it's reaching I think 220 and 240 the LED starts blinking. So indicating cool. that it's over voltage or under voltage. Okay. Not does it really have effect on the sound, but then at least you know there's something going on. And and you you made uh, this whole uh, tube amplifier yourself, also parts of the design. Uh, the, yeah. At least you know the Arduino part. Uh. Uh, uh, the Arduino part I designed myself. Uh, also the combination of the amps, where uh, it's a combination of a classic amp, so to say. Fender Marshall combination for clean as a Fender and for the overdrive channel Marshall Marshallesque type of sound. So, world, what is your you know most interesting tool or tools you're using, which always become handy? Well, I have uh, two tools so to say which are really handy, and the one is uh, WD40. The good old. A, the good old one. It's for lubrication, but also making things shiny. It burns like hell and it suits all different kind of purposes. So that's <laughs> one thing I really like. And the other one is, of course, the very famous uh, duct tape. At least this is one from uh, Tisa, but uh, yeah, sticks everything to stick uh, to everything. And really also comes in handy when you do the, the wiring, when you do intermediate solutions. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this is where uh, you can see, yeah, sticks like hell. <laughs>